Hey guys, Jordan from Kelos Yoda here. I will be working on my 85 Forerunner today. Um, like the video says, uh, the first breakdown. I say that because I've this thing's beat up, like everything shot on this truck, and I've been driving it for over a year now. And finally, after like a year and three months, it finally stopped. It's in 1985, so you know, you kind of know that that's going to happen eventually. Um, it is a great truck, but it needs lots of replacing. It needs all its parts replaced. So it's going to be a slow process. Whenever something needs done, I will do. Um, today will be the starter. The starter, I'm pretty sure, calfed on me today. And uh, the battery, that's 11.7. So I think that's good. Um, don't mind my terrible sub wiring. I didn't really care at the time. Uh, my plug. I decided to take this apart and it is corroded pretty damn good. So I'll be replacing that. I want to put cardboard in my rad here to block some of that freezing cold air since we're going to have some minus 20, minus 30, minus 40 coming up here so I want to be prepared for that and what else am I working on here um, the block heater I need to make sure it still works I have the new plug for it but the block heater I need to double check it works the weather stripping as you can see the weather stripping is already peeking out right there um, I use a buddy heater on the interior so it heats up all night and uh, during the day it freezes and then there's I guess there's moisture in the door here so the weather stripping will stick to the side of the truck here when it's uh, goes from warm to cold like that um, so I just need to reattach this weather stripping a bit more uh, my fan relay inside on max um, it doesn't work but on one down it will work so I believe uh, that'd be my resistor. There's these resistors that I need to replace. So I'll be getting at that. What's another thing? I have a few things. I haven't touched this truck in so long. I, right when I bought it, I did the spark plugs, but. Okay, this window. I don't go to Robin's Donuts anymore, but when I did, I'd get my coffee every single morning and this would annoy me. When it was like minus 40 out, it would be super hard to roll up and down but it doesn't really matter anymore but i want to figure that out get this get that rolling a little bit nicer what else am i working on while it is in here um my timing i find it has a slight rough idle so i want to just kind of check the timing and see how it is i'm sure it's fine it runs like a top anyways um, hole in the floor, okay. I have a hole right here and it goes inside the cab. So minus 40, this sure gets cold. So anyways, it's, don't mind the mess. That's what it's like in Saskatchewan here. Anyways, it's coming in this little hole right here and I can sure feel that. So, I'm gonna do these little fixins and uh, I'll start with the starter. So I got that starter out and uh, I was scratching away at one of the tags and it's an original Toyota starter so I'm guessing it's been in here for 35 years. It's 1985 Forerunner so 
and I don't know if that's the actual issue. I just, uh, I'm ready to start replacing everything on the truck and getting it uh, close to perfect running order. I don't want to have any breakdowns on the trail or whatnot. So anyways, I'll be throwing in this Wilson starter. I've put these in other things before so I know that they can last. Yeah. Hey guys, so another hour or two tonight I can work on the truck. So it's typically hour here, hour there when I work on the Land Cruiser, the 4Runner, and even the other 4Runner. It's whenever I have time with a full-time job and you know, two kids and whatnot. So anyways, what I got to last night was uh, I needed to buy a, one second here, new block heater. There we are. So a whole new block heater. I found that this one was leaking coolant. So I might as well replace it because it might be even 35 years old. Another thing I randomly did, you know, nothing too pretty about this. Um, I don't know if this is a Canadian thing, but uh, throw it down in front of the rad there and to block some of that minus 30, that minus 30 Celsius and uh, can't really see it much, not a big deal, whatever. This is the winter truck anyways, just to block some of that freezing cold air and uh, keep my engine temps up. Uh, I put a little hole in it for, I don't know, breathing room. Does it need to breathe out of that? Whatever, I'll see how she works. So, but yeah, I'll uh, start with putting that new block heater in. Skid plate has come off for me. This thing's in 85. I'm amazed. Like I just did my wife's uh, GX, and I broke maybe three of them, and it's tricky. Wow, that was easy. That was a little too easy. Good aim. Okay. Yeah, little valve right here. Just twist it. Well, I guess. Better leave it alone. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad under here. It's my first time taking the plate off. A little greasy, but. Not too bad. I randomly have this one hose here. I think I was paranoid on a trip I went on one time, so I picked it up just in case, but I don't have that vehicle anymore, so maybe I can use it on the lower. The lower right here. Okay, I got the old one out. So there's a slight little bend in it. Maybe this. I'll cut it like right there. They almost have the same bend. This is just some random one, so that's some pretty good luck. We're gonna cut it there. 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 There, look at that. Which one's the original? Okay, pretty identical. Let's 
throw her on there. Yep, this old thing. Side gets this. There we go. Let's go. Oh, that's a perfect fit too. That is some quick preventative maintenance, hey? Yeah, quick and easy. Fit perfect. It's probably right above there. Sure. I just want to kind of give this a tap. Just get some movement. in here in 35 years ago. Well, let's keep messing with that. see why it was leaking is it the same size oh yeah another thing I remember doing this on my land cruiser and it mattered which way this thing went the element they go different ways on these two um, probably won't matter, but on the Land Cruiser it did, so, anyways, I probably need to, like, lubricate this, uh, seal here. I bet it even says that in there. Let's take a peek. 